right. I think we're there. I think we're there too. All right. I see nothing over here yet. But Kalinda is watching. Good morning, sis. And Barbara's watching too. Good morning. Hey, Joel, guess what time it is? What time is it, Kate? It is Saturday morning. Lovely, lovely Chester County this morning. Indeed. What a beautiful couple Indeed. of days. It is time for Smack and Jack Live once again in beautiful Chester County. So we are getting ready. We got a whole great show for you. So grab your cup of coffee as we're going to do. Uh, sit back, relax the next couple of minutes, and we'll be right back. Here we go. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smackin' Jack Live with your co-hosts, Keith and Joel Wenderman. Okay, yes, we are actually... We are on, Keith. Did we look a little low today? Well, let's see. I can bring up the screen. Is that too? No, I meant like up there. Yeah. Are you all right now? I'm all right. Yeah, I'm feeling okay. a little tall. Yeah. I'm a little tall today. Whoa. Yeah. All right. I was just thinking, I'm gonna get a tambourine. I think that would be a good idea. I like that one. Add a little bit of uh, yeah, a little bit of live percussion. Yeah. To instead our of all tape. this canned music we have yes. <laughs> every single welcome week. Get, uh, welcome once again, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Why, our audience just, we got to wake them up. <laughs> we have to like... They realize they're here, then they gotta start We got to kick them. Yes. Wake up, clap, clap. Oh, so, anyway, right. what is going on today, Joel? Well, um, we got a nice show for you today, folks. Um, show, we'll, we'll do our announcements, as okay. always, because mm -hmm. we always have announcements. Yes. Whether we have them or not... We announce something. We announce Exactly. <laughs> uh, then we have our grumbles, which is actually going to be part of the announcements because we haven't really solidified that in our agenda. Yet. Right. Yes. Okay. We're, so we're... we have grumbles. Actually, it's one of my grumbles this week. Uh, joke of the day. Then we have blogger.com. What is blogger.com? We're going to take a couple minutes just to take a look at that. Okay. And then again, we're going to do our facts. We'll do our trivia first. And then we'll do our facts of the day and then the trivia. I'm, still not, on, I'm still not in love with our... <laughs> is that yes. all right? Okay. I guess. Yeah, all right. Yeah, Let us know if you can, you can see both of us okay yeah. out there, folks, because right now he's a little uh, <laughs> bent. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'm think i okay. You all right? Yes. Maybe your hat's a little crooked. Ooh, maybe, maybe so. All right, so there after we that, go. we're going to talk a little bit. I, I have water facts. <laughs> water facts. Water, water facts. facts. That's, that's part of our uh, trivia and all that stuff and our facts of the day. And then we have uh, birthday minute. Birthday minute. Birthday minute. <laughs> right, and exactly. we're going to do two birthday uh, because next week we're not going to be around because it is Labor Day. That's right. Yeah, so we have to do two of them. Let's okay, not so labor that fact. Announcements. Remember, folks, let us know if you need a magnet. Or a magnet. And or a sticker. Yeah. They're going quick. Stickers go on the back of your car. Yep. Magnets can go on the back of your car. They can go on the side of your car. They can go in your refrigerator. They can go Back anywhere. of your friend's car. Yeah. As a matter of fact, um, Granddad Dave... Connor was just in the studio just a yes, few I minutes ago. Yep. Saw him up at, at, at <clears throat> Wawa getting coffee. I said, hey, you got to stop in for our pre-show yeah. shenanigans. And he stopped in for a little bit. It was great to see him. It was. Uh, and it was, I think it was all because I was wearing my shirt. Right, I right. He didn't recognize you nah. other than that. Nah, you're he only shirt. recognized yeah. me when I am uh, come to his house at Christmas time. <laughs> and, then, right. and when I'm wearing the... Uh, that's nice right. So we stopped there for so a yes, surprise yes. visit. Yes. And you let me know that down at their, their beach house in Ocean City... They have one of these still on the refrigerator. Nice. That's been on there all summer. So <laughs> all the renters that come in, yeah, uh, yeah. To see. So yeah. you can you can do that too. Put Very it on nice. your refrigerator. Okay. What else we have here? Jim okay. Ross is in. Hello. Good morning, Jim. Who else we got here? Hi, Jim. Good morning, Linda. Barbara. Good morning. Good to see all of you with us today. Uh, Keith, are you on here too somewhere? Well, it doesn't see. <laughs> How come it doesn't say that? I don't see your name. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Anywho. Good to see everybody this morning. All right. So I'm going to start out the uh, the grumbles today. Yes. So um, you may. Should I turn it up? Yeah, a little bit. You think? All right. Let me turn up the grumble music. Ah. That just makes you want to grumble. <laughs> 
All Nothing right. like some blues guitar in the background. That's right, that's right. All right, so you you may know, most of you may know, some of you may know, maybe none of you know, that uh, my family and I got new phones last week. Uh, you know, it was on, uh, Jim Gardner touched on that at, at the end oh, of the show. Right. Yeah, at the end of the news last night, yep. All right, so we ended up getting um, uh, iPhone S's. All right, that's what, this is my S, uh, 7S is what it is. Uh, Stephanie got the... The, the seven. And what incarnation is that? How old is that one? Well, this is the six. Okay, so okay, two. The six and the six S were the same size. Okay. Okay, so this is <laughs> quite a bit bigger. It's a, can you see that? So this is my new phone. This is what I got to walk around in my pocket with. All right, this is my old one. You can see the difference in size. One's here. Look at, it, look at the difference in size. Okay, anyway, so what is my grumble? My grumble is... Um, let's go to our uh, my receipt here. I'll show you our, our receipt for the um, for the new phone. Where is it over here? Uh, maybe I left it open. There it is. All right. So let me go through what we paid for this. See that top number right there? Four hundred ninety-four dollars and ninety-seven cents. What did we get for that? That's today. That means that doesn't sound like you paid for the phone with that four ninety-seven. Four ninety-four. Correct. Okay. Correct. So we got um, the new Verizon plan, medium, I, I, I don't know, I think that's that's what we have anyway. Down here, let's see, oh, we got a, an equipment upgrade, so we paid 20, $23 to upgrade our phones, I guess. Line access, that means tying in, maybe moving our phone number from the old phones over to the new phones, mm -hmm. right? Um, upgrade fee, oh, is this the same one? I don't know. Uh, uh, this might be a different phone. I don't know. All right, so upgrade fee. Invisishield, that's that That's that little tiny glass thing that's that we buy to put over top of the actual phone shield or the phone screen, right? $30. $30. Piece of plastic. $30. And they they do break, folks. They do break. Um, all right, what else we got here? The case. $30 for the case. We did go with the cheapest case we could find. Um it is, and it's okay. I don't like it as good as the one that I had on my old phone because this was kind of like real hard around the edges. This one here is, you know, I think that's going to start causing oh, yeah. a problem. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. goes on and on and on. Um, and then we got some of these um, these little perks, like this power station. That came with the plan. Since we got the phone, the case, and the screen protector, this power station came free, though it doesn't look like it's in there for free. It did come free with a bundle. It would okay. cost more if we didn't get it. Okay. Okay. So we got power. Uh, let's see. Sophie and I got a power station. Um, Stephanie got a car charger thing. And all of that, all of that, let's see, where is the... Um, we paid zero dollars for the actual phone itself. Sorry. So far... So this is uh, uh, correct, correct. So all of that, the taxes on the phone, the shields, the cases, um, blah, 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 came up to $494. We're gonna pay for the phones for the next two years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, our bills. So that's why today, folks, I'm grumbling. Wow. And, I'm, uh, and singing a little bit of the blues, okay? Um, I gotta tell you, it's gotta be the most awesome, uh, it, it, it's, it, it's even more incredible than inventing electricity. That somebody came up with the idea that everybody on the planet needs one of these mm -hmm. and they are willing to spend hundreds of dollars every single month. Yep. Just so they can get our uh, carpal tunnel syndrome in their hand because mm -hmm. they're walking around like this all the time. Yeah. It is Great. That is capitalism, ladies and gentlemen. So, I haven't turned this in yet. We have another week to turn these in. Right. We'll get 100 bucks for each one of them. But okay. I thought, you know what? I, I might hold on to my old phone. Because really, right now, it's a computer. It just doesn't have phone access. Right. I just can't make get everything calls. else. But I can do everything else right. as long as I'm on Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Right? So, I might hold on to this so we can, we can do that. Right, or we can do... Down. We can do that, right? Okay. All right, so all right, uh, that is the grumble of the day. All yeah. right, shall we get to the jokes? Yes. Enough of this crying. Let's jokes. get to the jokes of the day. Some funny stuff here. All right, well, moment. now let's not go overboard. 
Well, I don't, I don't know if this is going to be funny or not, but here we go. You ready? Yes, I'm All ready. Right. First joke of the day. Why couldn't the astronauts book a room on the moon? Why not? Because it was full. <laughs> oh, of course. That was good. What did the alien say to the pop bottle? What? Take me to your liter. Ha ha ha, liter, I guess. Get it. What did the alien say to the tree? What? Take me to your cedar. <laughs> no, that didn't even get it. No, no, I, I, no, I'm not going to waste my, no. Okay, all right. What did the sun say when it was introduced to the earth? What? Please to heat you. <laughs> that wow. is it. We are all good. That, that's a, that Joke might be good. good. Yeah. Joke of yeah, yeah. Thank we're, you. We're going to yeah. stop while we're not that far right. behind. Right. Right. Yeah. Very Certainly good. are Very not good. ahead. Yeah. All right. All let's, take, let's take a look at Blogger. Last week I had mentioned that um, there was an easy and, and free way basically to create a website. It's not necessarily a web page or website, but if you have a Google account, you can basically set up what looks pretty <clears> close <throat> to be a web page. Okay. All right. Let me show you how to do that. Uh, this is free if you have your Google. Uh, you go to, uh, let's see. Uh, so this is uh, like, you know, you go up here and you have all your different things and mm -hmm. you see where it says blogger right oh, there. Okay. So you click on blogger and then you, um, you create a post. I'm not going to go over how to do all this, but it took me a long time to realize that I actually had this ability to do or create a, a blog in Google. Okay. Right? So that's what that is right there. And if you don't see it up there with all your other things, then scroll down and maybe uh, even more from Google, click there to find your, your blogger um, icon. Okay? What's going on over there, dude? Uh, I lost my feed there. But Doesn't that happen still... like weekly? Yeah, on mine for some reason. Yeah. Good thing I got an iPhone. Anyway. <laughs> all right. So go to posts, uh, drafts, and all that stuff. So um, let's see. I'm going to view blog and when I view a blog it looks like this now I haven't done a whole lot with this one for a long time see up here it even has like a different email address that's my business for the rental okay um, but you scroll down here it looks kind of like a web page okay and you can put in here advertisements I did have you can see there's a lot of stuff I need to kind of take off of here um, you can put in uh, videos remember that video yes that I was do. from a while ago right um, you can put videos in here. You can even add um, advertisements on the side here. You, you copy the, the HTML code. You can put the advertisements down the side there. Okay. Um, I don't know if I have here. Let's see. So that's our Smack and Jack one. Uh, so here's a four, uh, another blog that's on the basically in the same thing here. Let's see what this lo looks like. View blog. Uh, yeah, so I have an advertisement up here. I can click, oh, look what I got over here. I was holding around with this to see if it would work. And yes, there it is. Okay. You can click right there. It'll take you to Amazon. Um, and some, let's see, here's a, you know, I, I, uh, sign, I not that I need to burn fat in yeah, 21 if days. If I lost but, 21 pounds, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, there's that's an advertisement that'll take you right to that product, okay? And over here, we, I have some other things. So I, I really haven't touched too much on this, you know, t t in two years. But... It's an easy way to create a website and you pay nothing for it. Now you can go on a Wix and, and create a website for free, but you do need to, you have to buy the hosting and all right. that. You gotta yes. get your domain name and all that. Right. Th this here you can pretty much do without a domain name, uh, without hosting and all that, because this all kind of runs through your Gmail account. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you is, uh, let's just go back to the, uh, the Smack and Jack one. And you can create different themes uh, just by clicking here. So we have a pretty, boring theme I'll have to say there but if you click here you can get it maybe a little bit nicer theme um, and it'll it'll automatically change all your content to whatever theme okay. you have there right okay so and then you just press on on publish you can go up here this is kind of some sharing information there okay so if you're not yet ready to do um, I, I, I like this one here if you're not yet ready to do a, a website where you're all in with a, in a an email account, uh, I'm sorry, a, a domain name, mm -hmm. um, tagging it to your email account, all that, then just go through a blogger here, uh, which m I would say most people have a Gmail account. And if you don't have a Gmail account, 
Um, then just create one. That's free too. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I'm assuming that maybe Yahoo has something similar to that too. You have to check that out. I don't really know, but that's a quick and easy way to create a, a, a pretty basic website. Okay. And you can put all your information on there. Um, you know, if you're not ready to leap into having your own website. Now, when you when you're searching for uh, services and whatnot, that'll come up in a search just like a regular website. Um, that I'm not a hundred percent sure of. Okay. Okay. So that you have to do a little bit of googling, and I was thinking about that yesterday. Will it come up in search engines? Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Now, if you put in some keywords and put keywords in your titles, you know, find out what those words are. You can go to um, Google has keyword search tool. Okay. And look at what some of the highly searched terms are. Put that into your titles, put that into your blog, you know, your uh, write ups and articles and stuff like that. And that would help you get um, indexed. Okay. So that people can find you there. So, okay. It, sounds good. I'm, I'm not sure if it works just like a website as far as that goes. Okay. Okay. So that was it. I told you it was going to be short and sweet today. Very nice. Uh, but but regarding, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So go oh, ahead and check out blogger.com. Um, believe me, I get no money for promoting Blogger. <laughs> All right, shall we move on to facts of the facts day? Of Man, the day, we're, yeah. we're moving right along yeah, here, are, folks. Yeah. Facts of the day. Um, where are we here? So we go to here. Ooh, we have a little bit of music for this one. All right. Oh, we need to do our trivia first. All right. So again, folks, we're going to do oh, trivia. Yeah. And then oh, okay. we're going to do our facts of the day and then back to Come the Come back trivia. to the right. Yeah. We, okay. we changed that up last week, and I yeah. thought that worked pretty well. Yeah, it went great. All right, so be ready to type in there, folks. Be ready to type in. Oh, we also have a big question, too. I forgot the uh, favorite BLT oh, sandwich, yeah, right? That's right, yes. All right, that yeah, was our, that. our guest. Uh, is that how you spell sandwich? I can't remember. Okay. Sandwich. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, question number one. Get ready to type in. What is the name of the sequel to the movie Wreck-It Ralph that was released in 2018? <clears throat> That's this year, isn't it? Number two. What is called... Uh, what What is it called when a player scores two goals in a game of soccer? Okay. Two goals in a game of soccer. I know a hat trick is in a... You know, basically any other sport, you, you score three things, three goals. A fortnight is a unit of time equal to how many days? Oh, I knew this one. A fortnight is a unit of time equal to how many days? Originating in Germany, the Danube River empties into what body of water? I think I'm saying that right. Which actor played the fictional character Dr. Emmett Brown in the Back to the Future trilogy? Oh, okay. Know yep, one, right? I know that. A wombat is a marsupial native to which country? Oh. <clears throat> what was the name of the coffee shop in the hit sitcom Friends? Oh, I know that one too. I'm embarrassed, right. but I know it. When referring to the test taken for the entrance into the U.S. military, what does ASVAB stand for? Now, that was recap from last week. Right. And and I have one, one more from last week. Phil, Filipino First Lady Imelda Marcos was famous for her very large collection of what? Okay. I okay. think we were all pretty clear on that one. All right. So let's go back to the beginning here real quick. What is the name of the sequel to the movie Wreck-It? What is called when a soccer player scores two goals in a game? A fortnight is unit of time. Equal to how many days? In Germany, the Danube River empties into what body of water? <clears throat> Which actor played the fictional character Dr. Emma Brown in the Back to the Future trilogy? Wombat is marsupial native in which country? What was the name of the coffee shop in, in France? When referring to test taken, what does ASVAB stand for? And what did Imelda Marcos have that she was famous for? Okay, moving on. All right, so we'll come back to that. In a yeah, we'll minutes. come back. Let, for that, your let that marinate. See what we'll, you got uh, over there. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> All right. No one in Vatican. Uh, no one is ever born in Vatican City. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, that's really not a surprise. A <laughs> hundred thousand Japanese disappear without a trace every year. Many wow. to save their honor after divorce, job loss, failing an exam, or death. That is interesting. Just disappear. Wow. Obama bin Laden inherited at least twenty-five million Osama. after. Osama. Oh. Osama. 
Oh, no. <laughs> Osama oh, bin Laden. No. Sorry about that, folks. It was a slip. Inherited at least $25 million after his father's death. Crazy. Yep, it's, believe that. I, I hate this picture because we see it a lot. It's scientific fact that chicken noodle soup helps relieve symptoms of the common cold. Scientific what, fact. What relieves symptoms of uh, sneezing without covering your mouth? I mean, that's just disgusting. That's pretty gross. To be legal, prop money for films in the U.S. must be one-sided and less than 75% or more than 150% of the note or the size of a real banknote. Now, we're almost filled with... Remember we got again, Joel. Uh, well, I know. Uh, you want to go back to that yeah, one? Yeah, let's... It's... All right. To be legal, prop money for films in the U.S. must be one-sided and less than 75%. So, three quarters right. of the size, right? Or more than 150 percent of the size of a real bank. Okay, so, so it's got to be a lot bigger right. or a little bit smaller. Okay, to be legal. Okay. John Lennon started his singing career as a choir boy at St. Peter Church. Hmm, I okay. think I knew that one. Mick Jagger was a porter at a mental hospital before being famous. Wow. Interesting. The Japanese embassy in France has a 24-hour helpline for the for their citizens who didn't find Paris as expected. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Matt Groening uh, designed the Simpson family to be immediately identifiable in silhouette, hence their distinctive hairstyles and head shapes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In 95, visit to Washington, D.C., Russian President Boris Yeltsin was found on Pennsylvania Avenue, drunk in his underwear, trying to hail a cab to get a pizza. That is awesome. Isn't that? Yeah, it is. Yeah, We're going to have to... Where's the good old days of uh, Russia? Yeah, 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 yeah. I miss those silly days. 2017, British doctors found 27 lost contact lenses in a patient's eye. Yikes. 27 in one eye? That's, yeah, it's like, wow. you don't have to look for it to find it. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kangaroos keep cool by licking their forearms. I like that picture, like, yeah. <laughs> word. <laughs> right. And I think uh, one more here. The Beatles, Garth Brooks, and Elvis are the best-selling artists of all time in the U.S. No, nah, no kidding. Yeah, Garth pretty Brooks, crazy, huh? huh? Pretty. All good. right, so that is it for our trivia. Very good. <clears throat> all right, so enough of that music. <clears throat> oh, you know what? We have to go back to our. Uh, that was facts today. We have to go back to trivia. Our trivia, and it looks like answer we're not doing the answers. <clears throat> All right. Do we have any answers there, brother? Well, we got a couple. Okay. Yeah, we got a couple things. All right. Ew, All right. I don't know what that is, Linda. <laughs> I think it's chicken soup. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Looks like um, Barbara chimed in a little bit there. Uh, Linda said they're hard. <laughs> okay. So here we go. What was the name of the yeah, sequel right. to the movie Wreck-It Ralph <clears throat> that was released in 2018? The answer... Ralph Breaks the Internet. I never heard of that movie. I have never heard of that movie well, in my entire life. It does not sound like a very good sequel. All right. What is it called when a player scores two goals in a game of soccer? Answer is a brace. Oh, okay. I've never heard of that uh -uh. either. Yeah, Fortnite is a unit of time equal to how many days? 14. 14. Yeah, Barbara got yeah, that Barbara one. Yeah, Barbara got that one. Yep. Yeah. Good job. Originating in Germany, the Danube River empties into what body of water? Anybody? Ooh, anybody? Nice. Anybody? Black, Black sea. sea. Barbara got that nice job. Good. Very good. All right. Which actor played the fictional character Dr. Emmett Brown in the Back to the Future trilogy? I got a picture of my camera. Answer? Christopher, Christopher Lloyd. Lloyd. Yeah, I could not remember his name. Yep. A wombat is marsupial native to which country? Australia, mate. Australia. All right. What was the name of the coffee shop in the hit sitcom Friends? Perks Up, I think. Central, uh, Central Perk. Perk. Central uh, Perk. Uh, when referring to the test taken in French and sent to the U.S. military, what does ASVAB stand for? And we answered this last week. Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. Okay. Yeah, when I, you know, I went to Home Depot to get batteries, it, that wasn't there. That wasn't an option. <laughs> Filipino First Lady Imelda Marcos was famous for her very large collection of what? Barbara gets Shoes. again. Shoes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good job, folks. I think Barbara's going to get a uh, Smack and Jack magnet for her refrigerator. Okay. I like that. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, All right. Good. good. Very good. <laughs> All right. And I think we're um, moving right along. We are moving right along today. We're already up to the birthday, birthday minute. Yeah. Birthday, birthday minute. minute. Okay. Birthday so, minute. folks, get your... Um, 
Get your noisemakers ready to go. Um, get your candles out, get your cup of coffee ready to go. And let's do it. Here we go. And now it's time for the Smack and Jack Birthday Minute. Birthday Minute. Get some more explosive, man. My ears hurt. Happy birthday to a lot of people week, yes. this week. Yeah, so as we mentioned earlier, we're going to do this week of birthday, and then we're going to do next, next week, week, right? So we don't miss well, anybody. Because yes. we're not going to be here next Saturday, because I'll be away. Right. Um, et cetera. And it's a holiday week. Right. And so forth. Yes. Okay. Correct. All right. Okay. So. Well, we got to, uh, Joel's getting that ready. We got a lot of celebrity birthdays this week. It's funny how they run. Sometimes there's nothing. Sometimes there's yeah. a lot. But yeah. uh, Leonard Bernstein is 100 years old today. Yeah. And uh, he's a composer. He's a uh, or, uh, conductor. Weiser, composer. Weiser, and what, what, what did he What did you? West Side Story. West Side Story. Maria. Just met a girl named Maria. Oh, no kidding. And so on and so forth. Yeah, very nice. Uh, something a little bit more uh, contemporary. Elvis Costello was born this day, 1954. Everybody knows Elvis Costello. Gene Simmons from Kiss, fire-breathing bass player. Uh, and I can't remember. I didn't write down. He's a little bit older than Elvis, I think. I forgot to write that. Regis Philbin, born this day. Remember Kathy and Regis? Oh, yeah. Born yeah. this day, 1933. Marty Noxon. Not a whole lot of people know, but if you if you watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer... Which I did, and a lot of people did. And we hear about that, that show. Quite yeah, a bit I here. am about the show. We are. Um, she was right, one of the writers on the show. Anyway, um, Monty Hall was born this day in 1921. I don't know if Monty's still with us. That would make him quite old, but he may be. Well, anyway, I'm not sure either. Huh? Yeah, Billy Ray, Ray Billy Ray Cyrus, uh, at Achy Breaky Heart. I think up to date the worst song ever written. Uh, <laughs> born this day, nineteen sixty one. Tim Burton, a film director. He's done a lot of uh, weird type movies. Uh -huh. uh, born nineteen fifty eight, and Sean Connery. Sean ah. Connery from Scotland. Uh, yes, he was born this day in nineteen thirty. That's about as good as Sean Connery as I can get. Excellent. Sean Excellent. Connery. Excellent. All right. Yes. Well, happy okay. birthday, happy to birthday, all everybody. Folks. Yes, yes. But more importantly, happy birthday to all our friends here. Uh, that we'll be giving a shout out to starting right about now. now. Yeah. All right. So starting today, August the 25th. Wow. We have Jenny. Happy birthday, Jenny. Hey. Judy, Julia, and Mike. Happy birthday today. Happy guys. birthday, guys. Starting tomorrow, the 26th of August, Kelly and Martha. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And then Monday, the 27th, we have Bob and Nan. Happy birthday. Tuesday the 28th, we have Christine and Judy. Happy birthday on Tuesday, guys. Wednesday, we have we have a vacancy. Wow. On Tuesday. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. Okay. Moving on to Thursday the 30th, we have Derek, Ginny, John, and Teresa. Yay. Happy yeah, birthday, happy guys. Birthday. Yeah. On Friday the 31st, we have Linda, Mary, Raymond, Sarah. Happy birthday. Saturday, uh, September 1st, which is next week, we have mm. Andre, Kathleen, Eric, Frank, and Paula. Happy birthday next Saturday the 1st. And then Sunday the 2nd, we have nobody. Monday, Labor Day the 3rd, we have Dana, Michael. Happy birthday, guys. Tuesday, September 4th, we have Caitlin, Kelly, and Lanu, happy birthday. Tuesday the 4th will be the first day of school for a lot of kids wow. around here. Wow, yeah. yep. Back All right, school. Wednesday, September 5th, we have David, Jeff, Lindsay, Mike, and Sandy. Yeah, happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday, Consul Dave. Yeah. Uh, Thursday the 6th, we have Brian, Dan, Kate. Friday the 7th, we have Gary, Mary, and Tina. And then on September the 8th, Saturday the 8th, two weeks from today, we have Beth. Happy birthday, Beth. Yep. David, Janet, Krista, and Michael. <laughs> Yay! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday. We hope you guys have a fantastic day, whether it's this week coming up or the following week. Um, 
May you have a fantastic day. Yes. All right, let's get out of the birthday minute. And that was the Smack and Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Birthday minute. Birthday minute. All right, Keith, what do we have there? What did we miss? Well, we're just about done. We missed something, though. Uh, we had a viewer... Um... <clears throat> Happy birthday, everybody. That, yeah. was, that was quite a... Uh, yes. Uh, a viewer question or... I guess it was a question. Yes, yes. A from our, our question. Yes, yeah. of course. What is the best BLT sandwich? Yeah, what now, is your favorite way... What, of making a BLT yeah. sandwich? Is that, is that what she says? Our dear friend, uh, our dear sister. Our <laughs> dear sister, let's find out here. Uh, how do you build the perfect BLT? Okay. How do you build the perfect BLT? BLT. So if everybody can chime in, uh, you might have to do this after the show. We should have done this a little bit earlier, but yeah, we got, we, you know, a little bit out of, out of uh, sorts. But anyway, sorts. my perfect BLT, uh, it's just pretty basic. You know, make like B L and T, right? Yeah, but white toast. Okay. Uh, lettuce and mayonnaise. Uh, yeah. Bacon, got, lettuce, yeah, tomato. It's got to have a little bit mayonnaise. of mayonnaise, and it's got to be. I remember when I first started working at a frame shop down in Upper Darby. I got up early one morning because uh, we used to go up get lunch every day. There was this nice little place, but it was a little expensive for you know making two dollars and fifty cents an hour. So I got up and I made a BLT: bacon, lettuce, tomato, the whole thing. Wrapped it up. Got to work, put it in the refrigerator. Three hours later, when I went to have lunch, I pulled it out, and the bacon was soggy. Uh, <laughs> it, they let it, the, yeah. it, 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 uh, it was horrible. It was just horrible, so I threw it in the trash. And I can still remember, I mean, I don't, I don't hold grudges or anything. I mean, this is completely my fault, but 30, uh, 36 years later, I'm still bumming about this BLT. So if you're gonna have one, you gotta make it and eat it right yeah, away. Yeah, it's gotta be right on the spot. Yeah, right on the spot. Yeah. Uh, but just good, you know, fr crispy bacon. Uh, that you know is what? I have to say, when I go out to lunch, when you know the girls and I go out to lunch and stuff, I I typically want a basic BLT sandwich. Right. And there are so many places we go to that you look at the menu. It's this, 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 this. You know. Everything with bells and whistles, but there's no just BL. a bacon. All I yeah, want is a sandwich. Yes. basic sandwich. You know what? what Without what that is... ciabatta bread or whatever. Exactly, you know, it's yeah. like everything you get now is on some kind of funky right, bread. Right, right. Which is so, good, but yeah, it's just. I guess just... that could have been part of our grumble, huh? Yeah. We don't want to end this show on a grumble. So give <laughs> no. us your uh, your favorite way to build a BLT sandwich, and I think uh, that. And in the weeks to come, that's another one. What is your favorite sandwich? Yeah, and the best way to make it because I one of my favorite sandwiches is a corned beef special and it has to be built the same ah, way. Okay, maybe we'll talk about that next time. Yeah, so. we're gonna get out of here, yeah. folks. We're not gonna see you next week because we're gonna be away. So happy uh, Labor Day! So, yeah, uh, have a great time. Try to get away for at least a, 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 you know an hour or two. Take just some forget. time. Yes, get away and just relax. And uh, thank you for joining us once again, ladies and gentlemen. We always. Uh, Love doing the show. We love having the audience. So remember, you deserve a thought of your own. So be in touch. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.